Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Brogdon and welcome back to the Mobile Ads Garage. Today we're going to talk about rewarded video mediation, a new ad format from AdMob that can help you monetize while increasing engagement with your users. We'll have screencasts and talk implementation, but first, we have a guest star. In order to highlight AdMob's global reach, I thought it would be fun to do today's episode in two languages. So please welcome Katie, who's going to translate what I say into Chinese. Hi, 大家好,我的原名叫西婷,不过我觉得Katie应该更容易一点吧。so Katie's an engineer on the Mobile Ads SDK team and one of my very close friends. Alright, so you're gonna get everything twice. First in English from me, and then translated into Chinese from Katie. Awesome. Alright, so like I said, today's all about rewarded video mediation. Rewarded video ads are full-screen video ads that users are given the option to watch in exchange for something, usually an in-game reward. Because users have the power of choice, they don't have to see ads they're not interested in, and the ads they do see are presented in full. This means publishers can build monetization into the mechanics of their games in a way that users really engage with. We've seen publishers who, after integrating rewarded video mediation, saw an increase of overall user engagement and long-term value. Oh, quick translation. Uh, all right, so that's the basics. Let's get to our screencast, where we'll implement rewarded video mediation in Android Studio. Man, I, I never realized what an efficient language Chinese is. Alright, so I've got a basic app here with just a label to display rewards and a button to watch an ad. Let's get it wired up. Here are the steps for Android. Uh, with the exception of the first and last, they're actually very similar to the ones for interstitial ads, uh, which makes sense because with rewarded video, you load ads in advance and then display when the moment's right, just like interstitials. Uh, let's talk about this first step, though. So AdMob doesn't actually provide rewarded video ads of its own. Uh, what it does is let you mediate ads from other networks like Vungle, Chartboost, Fiber, and so on through the AdMob SDK. Uh, so step one for implementation is actually just to follow the instructions given to you by whichever networks you're using to incorporate their SDK and AdMob adapter into your project. Uh, we have a page that can direct you to those resources, and I'll make sure it's in the notes for this episode, but I'm not going to be showing those details here because it would just take too much time. Uh, so let's move on to step two, which is setting up the listener. Uh, this is where we give the rewarded video ad singleton a listener that it can use for events, uh, just like interstitials have the ad listener class. All right, so I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to have my activity implement rewarded video ad listener so I can use it as the listener. There we go. And I'm going to paste in the interface methods here uh, so you can see the comments that have already got on them. Uh, we're just going to use a few of these because the example is so simple, but they cover the whole life cycle for the ad from loading all the way to getting rewards, as you can see. All right, uh, so now that I'm, my activity is a proper listener, I'm going to scroll up and create a member to hold a reference to the rewarded video ad singleton. Uh, this is just a convenience, but it's handy. Uh, and now I'll get that reference using the static get rewarded video ad instance method in the mobile ads class. And it needs a context, but since I'm in an activity right now, I can just use this. There we go. And now that I have that reference, I can give it to my give it my activity as the listener. Uh, again, so rewarded is unique in the SDK in that it uses a singleton to load and show ads. Uh, video ads can consume a lot of resources, and this is one way we try to keep a lid on that. But it is a little bit different than than banners and interstitials, where each ad gets its own object. All right, so steps one and two are done. Time to load an ad. And I'm going to make a method for this so I can call it in a couple places. I'm just going to name it load ad. There we go. And first I'll check if I already have an ad cached and ready to go. So I can do that using the isLoaded method on my instance uh, reference. There we go. And if I don't, I'll make the call to load an ad. So rewarded is a little different in that it takes its ad unit at load time. Uh, but the ad request you see me using here is the same class that we use for banners, native ads, and so on. Uh, you might also notice that I'm not using a real ad unit here. Uh, because the ads are coming from other networks, I actually don't have legal permission to show one in this video. Uh, so there's a little bit of theater involved here, and when I run the app at the end, you'll see it. Uh, for the moment, though, this will stand in. Uh, now I just need to call my load ad method in onCreate to kick off the load. And so in my onAdLoaded callback, which is one of the listener methods, 
I can enable my watch ad buttons. This will get called when an ad is ready to go. Cool, so on to step four, showing the ad. I'll hop into the click listener method for the watch ad button, and I'll make sure the ad is ready to go using is loaded, and then I'll just call show to display. Cool, so last step, granting the reward. For this, I'm gonna make a use of another one of the listener's methods on rewarded. Uh, you'll see it gives me a reward item, which has an amount and description for the reward. So if you've got a game that uses multiple types, like uh, both gems and coins, for example, you can set that up when you make your ad unit, and that type data will actually pop out here. Uh, I'm just setting the text on my label, but you can do whatever you want with the data, whatever's appropriate. All right, so that's all five steps, and I'm gonna run the app, and again, I'm gonna have to cover the actual ad here with an image that Gary the graphics guy made for me so I don't show another network's ads. Uh, you'll see it. There we go, there's my emulator. Let's get the app up and running, there it is. All right, let's click the button. And there's the mock ad that Gary made for me. Yes, thank you, Gary. And if I watch the whole video and then close it, my reward is logged, 100 coins. One last thing to cover real quick, uh, the listener interface has a method that fires when the ads close as well, and you can use that to kick off loading the next ad. For example, I can disable my button here and call the load ad method again to start another request. So that's an option. All right, so that's rewarded video mediation in Android Studio. Now it's time for iOS. 你知道我们的目标之一是让应用程序的接口尽可能的简单，这样子发布商可以很容易的实现广告，并开始赚钱。所以我们尽可能的保证在不同的平台上设计的统一，虽然是不同的编程语言，但步骤是一样的。You can play the video now. All right, so here's my simple iOS app in Xcode, and it's got a label to display rewards and a button to show ads. Let's get it wired up. All right, here are the steps for iOS, and as you can see, they're very similar to the ones for interstitial ads, uh, which makes sense because with rewarded video, you load ads in advance and then display when the moment's right, just like interstitials. Uh, it's mainly step one, which has to do with mediation, and step five, which is the reward step, that are different. Uh, and let's talk about that first step. So AdMob doesn't provide rewarded video ads of its own. What it does is let you mediate ads from other networks through AdMob. So step one for implementation is actually to follow the instructions given to you by whichever networks you're using to incorporate their SDKs and their AdMob adapters into your project. Uh, we have a page that can direct you to those resources, and I'll make sure it's in the notes down below, but I won't actually be showing those steps here because it would just take too much time. Uh, so let's move on to step two, setting up the delegate. All right, first things first, uh, I've already got the SDK into the project via CocoaPods, but I'll need an import statement for it. There we go. Now I'm gonna add the GAD reward-based video ad delegate protocol to my view controllers interface. This is the delegate protocol used by reward-based ads uh, for all the events in their life cycle. All right, and then I'm gonna add the methods for that protocol uh, using a technique I like to call cutting and pasting from my notes. Uh, I've got some comments in here and I wanted those included. There you go. Um, there's a bunch of messages in this protocol covering, like I said, every stage in the ad's life cycle. And you can see the description for each one. If you wanna pause the video and just give them a once over, uh, feel free to do that. It's not a bad idea. Okay, uh, now that my view controller fills out the protocol, I can add it as a delegate to the shared instance of GAD reward-based video ad. There we go. Uh, I'm using shared instance because GAD reward-based video ad is a singleton. Uh, unlike other AdMob formats in which each ad gets its own object, uh, Rewarded uses a singleton. There's a lot of resources consumed under the hood for video ads, and this is one way we try to minimize the impact. All right, so I've got a delegate, time to load an ad. All right, I'm gonna make a method for it so I can call it in a couple places. Just gonna call it load ad. And first, I'm gonna check to make sure I, already, I don't already have an ad loaded. And I can do that using the isReady method that's on that shared instance. There we go. And first thing, I'm gonna make a GAD request object. And this is the same GAD request that we use for banners, native ads, interstitials, what have you. There we go. And now I'm gonna make the call to load request to load an ad. Uh, as in the Android example, I'm not using a real ad unit here. Uh, because the ads are coming from other companies, I actually don't have legal authority to show one. Uh, so when you guys use Rewarded, of course, you'll have your own ad unit IDs from AdMob, and uh, they'll have mediation configurations that you've set up. 
All right, uh, so now that my load add method's done, I'll add a call to it in view to load to kick off the request. And when the ad does come in, I'll get a notification here and reward based video ad did receive ad. And so I can enable my watch ad button right there. Cool, uh, so that's one through three, time to present an ad. So I'll hop into the action for my button. And first I'm gonna double check that an ad is ready. And again, I use that is ready method. There we go. And then I make the call to present and I'm gonna pass itself as the root view controller parameter. So shared instance, present from root view controller. There we go. All right, so the only thing left is to get a reward. Cool, uh, one of the protocol methods is called did reward user with reward, and that's where the reward actually arrives. Uh, the GAD add reward class has two properties. One is the amount and the other is the type. Uh, when you set up your ad units in the ad mob console, uh, you can actually set different strings to describe the unit of reward, like gems or coins, for example, in case your app uses more than one. All right, so steps one through five are finished. Let's run this thing. Uh, and just like in the Android screencast, I've had to ask Gary, the graphics guy, to cover the video ad with a mock-up because this is mediation. And like I said, I, I don't have legal's approval to show somebody else's ads in my video. Um, but my button is lit up, so I have an ad ready and I'll click it. And there's my mock ad. Thank you, Gary. All right, and so when I watch the full ad and then close it, I get a reward. There it is, 999 coins. Okay, so that's the full life cycle. Uh, one thing I did want to mention is that while I'm just loading and showing a single ad here, the protocol does have reward-based video ad did close, which fires whenever an ad closes. And I can use it here to disable my watch ad button again and then kick off a new request. Uh, that should get me a continuous cycle of fresh ads. And that's reward of video mediation in iOS. What did you think? 除了措辞很浮夸, I'll take that as a well done. Uh, maybe I should put in for a transfer to the SDK team. Uh, so big thanks to Katie, everybody, for appearing in this episode. Cool. Thanks. Bye. As always, I've got some great links for you. Here's our rewarded video mediation guides for iOS and Android. And we've got samples up on GitHub for both operating systems. And as always, if you have a technical question, bring it to our support forum, and we'll see you next time.